used a, uh, you know, just put new veneer on it and everything. And I cut a piece of uh, MDF that's uh, only, I believe it's quarter inch. Um, I'll open it up for you. Oh, it's tight. Hold on. The reason it's so tight is because the hose and the hose clamp here. Um, first, I want to show you the motor that's going to turn the platter. This was purchased on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. It runs on uh, 12 volts DC. I, I have a 12 volt DC um, 5 amp brick, which uh, you can see it, it's wired in. Um, I will hardwire it, but for testing purposes, it's just uh, electrical caps. Also bought a switch, a one-way rotary switch on off. The um, on the shaft, I have what attaches to the dual um, turntable platter. And over here, what you're seeing here, and I'll show you in a second, is the VPI wand base. And um, uh, let me tell you, getting the right hose, I've got the hose that's gonna fit to the vacuum out the back, but getting it to fit this is just like a nightmare. So it is really sealed. It's wrapped around there and then uh, hose clamped. But uh, let me close this back up again. It is a tight fit, which is actually good. I'm gonna set this down. Okay, here it is with the uh, platter installed. And um, I'll add the VPI wand, which goes in here like as a spring. Put the spring on. goes here and rest outward. The table turns counterclockwise and as you can see this is the, the stop so when it pulls it in it won't it won't just flip off and, and roll but then you go there so the vacuum is what holds it down like that and it hits the stop. Okay, now for the vacuum portion of this I found a box at a second hand store. It cost me 10 bucks. I think it was like a potato bin or something. So I have a small vacuum in there. <laughs> I've wired in a, an AC switch. So this would be on, that's off. And you can see the tube that comes out here and that's gonna to attach to the tube on the turntable. Um, and and I, they have a lid for this, which is really cool. Um, the vac, is a one gallon shot vac, really mini, really good power on it. So uh, probably more power than I need, but uh, we're gonna give it a test in a minute. Okay, so this is the final assembly. Um, I don't have my stiff brush, but you know, pretend this is the stiff brush. And I would spray the unit with the special spray I have. And with that brush, I could, you know, get the stuff out of the grooves, etc. But then, when I want to vacuum it, I turn the vacuum on, and it pulls up all the, the moisture. You can see, let me get a close up, the record is clean. Now this particular record is scratched, it's just a, a demo. The uh, thing that's holding it down, it's a, um, it's just a wing nut on uh, what I use as a center shaft is a six millimeter screw that's locked in there. I just take that off because holes for an album are seven millimeter. So if I do the other side, which is not so scratched, Again, I have my special fluid. Try not to get it on the label. I would use the brush back and forth. You notice the motor doesn't stop. That's that motor from Amazon. And really it's pretty dry at this point, but I can move that over and 